Okay, welcome everyone. This is an instructional video on how to um, paint using um, a texture in the paint box with uh, Paint Shop Pro. Got a friend who was interested in doing this. One of the things about iRacing is you have two different types of templates that you can use. Most of them are 2048 by 2048, but the others are half that at 1024 by 1024. I use the 2048 versions of these. What you see on the screen right now is the base Monster Energy um, SS that they use in the NASCAR. And right now it's just a base color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit this with a black background. So I'm going to go down here below the templates and choose base. And I'm going to go to the black. And I'm going to paint this as all black. Get it all black right now. I don't have to do everything, but I will anyway. Just make sure you get all that blue is black. I'm not going to worry about the, the stuff over here. It takes a lot of time to do that. So we're going to, it's not really important right now. This right here, in case you're wondering, this is the camera that goes on top of the roof. So we won't worry about that right now. What we need to do is I'm going to use this as a pattern for what my SS car for Redline Racing is going to be. I've got a pattern that I'm going to end up using up here instead of my carbon fiber. My carbon fiber I keep here and I use that as a layer. And I still may use it. We'll have to wait and see. But what I want to do is use an abstract. Now, see, in this case here, we c I'm going to go ahead and use this, uh, grab a template. And if you've ever used them before, you just choose, go over here to templates until you get there. Keep the back, uh, black base down. And then, saving right now. Choose a template that you want to use for your car. Now, in this case, I'm going to use the, I'm going to use the abstract one on there. See, I can go ahead and do that. If I wanted to, I could paste it as a layer itself and put it over the top of the car. But in this case, I need to show someone how to set this up to where they can spray paint or do a fill as they need to. We'll go ahead and use the scallops. This one right here. I'm going to go ahead and leave the. I'm going to go ahead and paint this as black. And see, we can. I can do this as a color changer. So I'll go over here to Color Changer and use the Magic Wand tool. And you just click on that, on the particular color you want to do. And then hit the black as the Color Changer. Go down here to the Color Changer and hit it. And it's supposed to work. Oh, would help if I'm on the template. All right, see how it changed it into black? That's what we want to do. Now, what I want to do at this point is we'll go back up here, and we need to de deselect that layer. So I want to get off of the magic wand, or otherwise it'll mess up later on. What we need to do then is get out of that, la uh, get out of that particular layer. So we're going to go back to Magic Wand. And we'll, in this case, it chose the green. I wanted to do that one. So what we're going to do is I'm going to call up the texture I need from the uh, red line from my red line, my red line folder. As soon as it decides to select. Uh, looks like Paint Shop Pro froze up.
Okay, this is what we're up against. All right, this is what we're gonna what we're up against. Um, when we when I last was on here, we had started out with the black and um, as base. With the green is going to become the um, uh, abstract that I'm going to be using. What we need to do now is call up the abstract inside the folder. Hopefully this time it'll work, and it looks like it is. Go down here, pictures, eye racing, red line racing folder. And we're going to go ahead and just use this, this one right here as an example. All right. One thing you need to do is make sure that this particular image is 20 by 48. Or 20, 2048 by 2048. So we'll go over here. I'll go to image information. And you can see right here it says 3840 by 2400. Now in this case it's larger than the 2048. So I'm not going to mess with it because what it'll end up depixelizing. What I'll do at this point, and this is what I needed to show my friend Cody. Is you go over here to where this yellow is right now. And you select it, you go to pattern. As long as you got that pattern up on the dash on your on your clipboard, you're okay. You go to all, page up, and you find it over here. Select it, and then hit okay. Now go back to your car, and you can go to your tool the tool over here. Notice it says it right up here. It, sh it shows it inside the pattern box. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it, hit it, and just keep going until you fill all that green in. See how I'm doing it? Now you're going to end up having to go back and um, touch up. That's one of the things about the templates that most people don't understand when you um, paint a car. You should all be black here, and then green down here, and here, and here, and here, and here. Now, one of the things that you need to think about when you when you do these is making sure this is the reason why it has to be 2048, or otherwise you're going to end up having um, so many of them where it's going to be it's not going to show up for you. And it's not going to look like it. Now you can take and you can turn that design so that it faces a def different direction. So for instance, if I wanted the stars facing the other way, I can go over to image and turn it and rotate it left or right like this. So I can go to rotate right and it throws it like that so it faces toward the front of the car. I'll undo that one. If you want to reverse it, you can turn it upside down as well. But we'll go back over here and if you notice... None of the parts of the car, as it lines up with the template, meet up with everything else that's on the car. It shows up exactly as it shows up on this particular image. So that's why I said if you want to turn it, if your car's facing the other way and you want the, the um, little star shines over here facing toward the front of the car, rotate it to the right so that it'll show it. So now we got this one here and we'd end up painting... Say, for instance, we could paint the blue ones here, and I'm not going to go through it because it, there's an awful lot of it. But you can continue painting there, or you can use a different color. If I wanted to go over here and use white, for instance, I can hit that with the white. And then it, and it would end up showing up there. We don't want to do that with the black. So we'd end up shoot going like this. See how it's changing it like that? Oop, don't want to do that either. See how it changes it, so we could end up doing that, or you can use any color you uh, any color you want. The um, key is to make sure that your image, your pattern image right here, is set for it, and it is 2048, so that it doesn't doesn't you don't get lines in your um, in your uh, texture. 
because if you don't have something that's seamless, and this one particular one I'm using is not seamless, you're going to end up having lines in your paint, and that's not good. You're either going to have to smooth them out, or you're going to end up painting over them. That's why you need your textures at 2048 uh, by 2048 or better. Otherwise, it will you'll end up with lines, and you don't want the lines if you can help it. Um, that includes the tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching.